What to expect from a Philippines hospital? Uh, it's going to be a little bit different to what you're used to if you've been in the UK, where we're ripped off as a taxpayer to fund a national health system, where you just go in and then just tell them who you are and they generally know everything else. In the Philippines, they want money. Um, first thing you're going to ask for is insurance and even with some insurance companies that pay out later they want cash they want they want something to cover the cost of any medical care so before they get too involved they're going to be looking for that before they even entertain you should we say um, it, the other thing is if you actually run out of money or don't have it there they're very likely to detain you until somebody pays your bill you could be stuck at the hospital uh, several expats have had this happen where they've had to borrow money off other expats to pay for medical bills for a motorcycle accident before. Now, myself, I had it where my daughter, uh, April, was in maternity there um, and filled in all the forms, and then they were panicking because I went home to get changed and have a shower the following day. Um, now, bear in mind, I hadn't signed any guarantor forms or anything at all, uh, but also we overpaid, not underpaid, but hospitals seem to think they own you. I, don't, I get irritated by this stuff because I'm, and I wouldn't say I'm anti-corporation, I'm anti-bad business. It's a very different thing. When companies assume they own you, there's a problem. Um, a lot of companies do these days. Um, I'm all against that. But anyway. So, once you've sorted out your funding, everybody's happy, they'll offer you a room or a ward. In Cebu, when we were there um, at the hospital in Naga, it was 1,200 pesos or 1,600 pesos a night for the private room or 600 pesos for the ward. Hygiene-wise, recommend the private room, plus it's a private room. The ward... It's not great. Um, my big big thing, even in the UK, is infection. People like to give it nice new words, but what they mean is filth. Um, MSRA and all this nonsense. It's dirt. Let's be honest. It's dirt. Unhygienic areas cause infection. That's it. You can fluff it up all you like. As somebody mentioned earlier about bipolar, bipolar is not real. It is, but it's a pretty word. It's actually manic depressive. They don't like to use that term anymore. I'm all for people saying the truth, but welcome to this world that likes to fluff everything up as if we live with Care Bears. Anyway, so you go to your room. First thing you're going to notice is they'll ask you, do you want water? Do you want this? Do you want that? Because they can either bill you, or you can go down to the pharmacy and get the stuff yourself. And this is quite a unique experience because even when, when I had my toe ripped open, they're asking, you know, do you want your own bandages and this all that stuff? And it's like, what are you talking about? It's a very unique thing. But if you go down to the pharmacy, the medication and stuff is actually cheaper. And you could even go cheaper still if you go with the generics. So... They, this is why you'll see in the Philippines, when somebody is in the hospital, there is somebody sat with them all the time. It's because they will go and get the water, the, you know, if it's a new child, or something, you know, nappies, whatever is needed, they will go and get it because they'll go and buy it from the pharmacy. And it's a little bit odd compared to the West because we're normally admitted, everything's dealt with, and then we get a bill. In the Philippines, they keep, they'll ask you, do you, do you want one of these? Because you need this tablet. And you go, well, what is it? I'll, I'll go and get one from the pharmacy because it's five pesos cheaper or something. Those are the things to expect in the hospital. Um, the other thing I would say is the first experience I've had of seeing the dead people. Um, because normally it's all done... <laughs> I work. I worked on hospital buildings. Well, what you don't see is like the new buildings. Uh, there's two sections. That you actually have all the wards on one side. Then there's corridors linking off where all the uh, porters and stuff move. So you don't really see any bodies floating around. But what I found at the Naga Hospital, I've seen them bringing them down the same way I go up to to the wards. You know, it's the same. Um, 
same access way as Joe Public. It's not kept separate and out of view, um, which is a bit strange. But also the strange bit, you know, when you go into a hospital, because you don't see dead people, you're in a false belief that people don't die. You know, because you don't think about it. <laughs> but every time I went to the hospital, um, there was somebody being carted out in, in some form or another. I know um, a friend of mine, Rob, when he was um, having a problem with an amoeba, there, there was a child that died in the bed next to him in the, in the hospital. Because a, a lot of time, hospitals in the UK, if they know somebody is not very well, should we say, they will cart them off into a private room, you know, a bit of privacy for the family, etc., because they know they're not going to make it. That stuff doesn't seem to go on in the Philippines. Now, bear in mind, this is a private hospital as well. There is public hospitals, but they are not good. Um, an example of this was somebody up in Luzon was involved in a motorcycle accident which ripped his foot apart, and it was sort of really badly put together to the point that he went into um, Manila, you know, into a proper hospital, um, to have somebody else look at it, and they were asking, did he stitch it himself, because it was such a mess. Uh, they wouldn't actually believe that this was a doctor out in a provincial government hospital that had done this, but it was, it was that bad to the point that he actually went to another hospital. So be aware, hospital care is... Um, not consistent. Different hospitals, different quality. Um, I found the Naga Hospital in Cebu to be okay, except for the issues of pushing these vitamins, um, which I'll discuss in another topic because they really bugged me to the point that I told April to ditch her doctor. Um, because uh, I'll talk about it in the next video. <laughs> But so when you go into a hospital, be aware they're going to want your card. But also be aware if you are insured, check with your insurance company. Do they pay at the door or do you reimburse it? Because you may need to pay the fees up front and then recover the cost later, um, which can be several months, which is why you really need to make sure you, if you're insured that they're covering it as soon as you arrive. So you give me your card and for the... Uh, Hospital, it's a no expense spared, don't have to worry about any costs. Um, but if you're paying, be aware, the costs rack up quite quickly. Um, surgery is expensive. I, I think even when I cut my foot, it was only about, it was a few, I think it was a few thousand pesos. I'll have to dig it out. Um, but the, the point being is when I took the stitches out, I sat at home and did it because it was so bad at the hospital. I really didn't want to go and have them do it because when they ripped the cut open, because they sort of pulled the pulled the cut open like this, and then just sort of sprinkled um, some what do you call it anaesthetic in there. Um, obviously, doing this mechanism to actually put it in there is not the best way to do it because um, obviously you want you want it before you do that, which is. Anyway, I won't be going there myself. Me and Google can fix most things. Thanks for watching.